as I think to myself What a wonderful We are going to create a 300 by 300 personalized hardcover. At this point, you are ready to import the photos that you want to use in your photo book. A suggestion I will make is that before you start your project, save all the photos you want to use into a folder, put it somewhere nice and easy to find. When you're ready, you're just going to click on the little black arrow below the plus sign. Computer. Add folder containing pictures. And just double click on the folder. As you can see, all the photos are flying in to your designer. Once your photos are in, you can go through, make sure they're all facing the right way. There's one or two you want to change around. You can always flip them. And you also have the option of deleting the photo if it's not what you want. When you are happy with all the photos you've selected, you're just going to click Next. Give your project a name. And say Create. This will take you to our designer. There are a few key areas on this page. On the left hand side, you have the photos that you just imported. Down at the bottom, you've got page styles, masks, backgrounds, frames, and scrapbook items. At the top, you've got your different page numbers. And on the right hand side, you have a few tools that you can use to help create the photo book. Alright, the first thing we're going to be designing is the cover. Please be aware that your front cover is on the right hand side, your back cover is on the left. These little boxes with the diagonal lines through them just indicate where you can place a photo. If you're unhappy with the style, of the page and you want to change it, you're just going to click page style, you're going to grab whatever page style you want to use, drag it over the page and just drop it. From there you can take a photo, exact same thing, drag it over the box, over the diagonal lines and drop it down. Another cool little trick if you just want to take a photo and there are no picture boxes, just drag it down and you can use the little blue circles to make the picture bigger and place it in. If you want to change the picture or crop it, you can just double click on the actual photo from here you can move the box to suit where you want the picture, say OK. What a wonderful world. 